Welcome back. Hey, today we're uh, we're back in the shop, working on uh, some things for the studio, and basically, you know, everybody needs a, uh, a good studio monitor scenario. I've got most things here. I got a set of NS tens. Um, I've got some kind of big ones that are tuned pretty good. I uh, use some DSP. I got them pretty flat to the room. So those are all pretty good. One of the things I've been kind of missing is that that little cube kind of thing, uh, like the Aerotone or the Avatone mix cube. But if you look at current kind of iPhone responses, which I think is a big reason people uh, use those, is to kind of emulate, you know, the listening to something on your phone, which isn't unusual these days. So I noticed that the the single driver, like Avatone, Aerotone uh, scenario, they don't produce the same kind of high end as a, as a phone. So for that application, I don't feel like they're particularly relevant. Um, they do mid-range really well, but they're not extended in the high end just due to the nature of, of having uh, no tweeter. So I've got a, a thing. Found. I'm always looking for the kind of killer app for this and that. So one of the things I discovered on Parts Express here recently is a nifty little two-way. See, it's got a tweeter in the middle. So we've got the same kind of look feel as the, the tone speakers, um, the mid-tone ones. But this is, you know, it's still a cube. Same dimension, uh, it's six and a half by six and a half by six inches deep. So it's a perfect little square. Uh, it's kind of been missing from my world. So it would be okay to do this uh, with a passive crossover in there. But recently, um, there's been some advancements in DSP amp modules. So let me grab one of those and I'll show you what we're talking about. This was kind of one of the older modules that I've been using. Um, and they work all right. They, uh, they just kind of lack any kind of control. And this is a single channel, so it wouldn't be appropriate for what we're doing here. But they're simple, they're cheap, easy to power, easy to use, easy enough to hook up, la di da But limited for what they're gonna do for you in the sense of to control a speaker or create a crossover or anything like that. So, this is the latest and greatest. Uh, made by the same company. These are made by Sure Electronics. I think these are branded Dayton Audio. Uh, it is what it is. It's not a, not a big deal either way. But uh, one of these, this one, has a little tiny chip in it. And that little fella right there, well, wait. Nope. Oh, that little fella right there is the analog device's chip. Let's see how close we can get. Oh, yeah, good camera. And that is going to create um, both an electronic crossover for us, as well as the ability to do some EQ work and limiting. Um, time alignment, quite a few things. So there's a lot we can do with that. And it's relatively cheap. Uh, $32, $28, $32, I think $32 for this one. And it's two channels, 50 watts per channel, class D. Um, anyway, that's gonna be the cast meow for a little cube. This little fella right here. So let's get to building. Blame it on the whiskey Blame it on the bad weed Blame it on the only thing you've ever seen Run and tell your mother Blame it on your brother Blame it on the only thing you've ever heard
Well, it's that moment when you realize you screwed up. Here's the deal. Um, when you set this up, you can either cut inside the line or outside the line. Um, I got these ones outside the line and those ones inside the line like they should be. So those are good. And it looks like I'm not quite deep enough. So I'm gonna have to you know, run this again all the way through because I didn't get it. Just didn't get it. So gotta change my programming a little bit, come back and run it again. Fortunately, and it's only a 25 minute run, so it'll go pretty quick. Let's do it again. All you do is shine in the night. All you do is lie. Even when you know it just ain't right. All you do is lie. All you do is shine in the night. All you do is lie. Even when you know it just ain't right. All you do is lie.
All right, so we had a really good time building up our little cube. We got it all assembled. And hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, the ones that, uh, that do. That's always appreciated. And in the next video, we are going to tune this. And a big part of that is, um, man, we got so many options for this. We can make it, we can make it sound like the tone boxes. Um, we can do a lot of other things. We can actually make it a really capable near field monitor scenario that's kind of full spectrum, maybe out of sub um, and should be pretty killer and still have that super small form factor. This might be a good thing. Anyway, we'll move on to tuning with uh, Sigma Studio. So look forward to that. It's coming up in the next video. Hey, thanks for thanks for tuning in. All right, so we've, we've, 